The, I think first I'd like to come to this uh, lady, Honey, about aspirations. I think there are a few, few aspirations that um, can never be satisfied by the PAP. And I think one particular one amongst the young is the need for check and balance and for a multi-party system. Because the only way the PAP can satisfy the aspiration is to lose. <laughs> right? Right? So, which is why my advice um, to the ruling party is that that aspiration can never be satisfied. It's better to focus on bread and butter issues in but, that sense. No, that's fair, but it also means that but the PAP can make the changes that we spoke about in the earlier parts of the debate, which is to make the pre-election process fairer, more transparent. And those are things that are well within their reach. They don't have to lose to achieve that's that. That's fine, but in order to achieve the aspiration for a dual party system, for more checks and balances in parliament, the only thing that they can do is to lose. Right? So that is an aspiration that they can never um, satisfy in any way. So that's one point. The second point coming to the campaign period. And so what is the point of that point? <laughs> the, the point is that it's there's a substantial the group of people that are, lost, that are a lost cause for the PAP. Okay. All right? okay. For that, for, for, a, for a portion, for a segment of especially the young, where their, their aspiration is to see two parties in parliament, the PAP cannot satisfy that aspiration without... Why, why not? The only Sorry, way they, like they, they, they can... No, they don't have to lose it. You can still have a majority. The yeah, so, so they need to lose seats. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That's just my point. Yeah. Ah, so, so, so they, so, so correct. So they, so they tried, but they failed, right? The they, they tried the NCMP system, and the and, and the NMP system, but it, it doesn't seem to be able to satisfy the aspiration, short of losing real elected seats. Correct. Maybe the NMPs didn't do a good job. Oh, maybe. <laughs> 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 Highly possible. <laughs> no, I'll leave that to my more eminent <laughs> colleagues to, <laughs> to answer. Okay, now coming no, but, on but, to but the... Is it not possible that people don't necessarily, voters don't necessarily want to see the PAP lose, but the PAP become a better party? Yes, a yes. Fair right? I mean, I, I, that's fine, that's fine. So, that, so why are you, that, why, that aspiration that. can be satisfied, but I am seeing that there, are, there is a... There is a segment of society that actually wants to see a two-party Yeah, but system, how big correct? is that segment? Is a... I mean, basically, a lot of people want to see... Yeah. All more voices in parliament. Yes. Well, whatever, right? What's wrong with correct. that? But it doesn't think, have to be that, that they have to lose. There is nothing but, wrong with yeah, that. And, but and, in order for there to be more voices in parliament, logically speaking, they have to lose seats. Yeah, but not lose power. No, okay, so they don't have to lose yeah. power, but they okay. will have to lose seats. Yeah. No, correct? What's wrong with that? You can just give, give their own members back some guts, uh. <laughs> no, but to have an al to have an alternative voice, right, from another party, right, the only thing they can do, log logically speaking, is to do seats. I'm I'm saying that that particular aspiration cannot. But the other more amorphous points, like fairness, <laughs> transparency, sure, I think there are things that can be done, right. Um, Am I allowed to move on yeah, to my yeah, second yeah, point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. My, my second point was about the campaigning period, um, which um, I think this was seems to be a proponent of and some, some of members of the audience. I think that what we don't want to see is for the election period to be too much of a, of a, of a pony show, right? Where in the West, in the developed countries especially, because the campaigning period is so important. The role of money has become very important in hiring professionals, in getting the right media. Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. example, spin doctors, yep. image consultants, yep. focus groups, uh, debate trainers. So for example, you are a big proponent of debates. Um, um, I think that uh, 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 in, the, in developed countries especially, there are, you have a whole team of people supporting a candidate for a debate, Sure. right? So these things all come into play, and I think some members of the audience have said that... The artificiality of it. There's artificiality yeah. of it. There's, it's, it can get, get very contrived. How much more can you know, which comes back to, to, Bal, to Balji's point, that you can never actually really know a, a, a candidate, even with, with all of these... Uh, Agreed. Uh, 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 this, this, pro, this processes and procedures. 
right? Um, and at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words, which is why I'd like to see, especially in this general election, more focus on what the parties have done in the preceding four years rather than in those 10 days, mm. right? Ask for the electorate to ask themselves, what have the parties done? What have the parties spoken about in the preceding four years? That is a lot more important than the campaigning period. And you don't think that would be a particularly advantageous to the incumbent who would have a lot more to show? I think that... What do you think the opposition parties would have to say in <laughs> about what they've done in the four years? Okay, so there are two kinds of opposition. With the exception okay, of... The Workers' Party. The workers yeah, party. which is what yeah. I'm, I'm going to say. So you have the, the Workers' Party, yeah. who actually has a presence in Parliament, and the other party. So I think the yardsticks are different. For the Workers' Party, we judge them on their performance in Parliament, right? So for example, I am rather disappointed that even though they, they had so much on their manifesto, they had never put forward a full motion to debate important issues. Right. And, and an example, transport is at the top of all our minds. In the manifesto, they have suggested nationalization. In these four years, they could have, you only need two. In fact, if you are as eminent as this one, you only need one to actually have a full motion. And the last motion ever to be debated in Parliament was actually put forward by this, gen this gentleman over here, right? So in, in, you, in Eugene's term, and in this current term of Parliament, this half term, no full motion has been put forward, even though the Workers' Party has seven elected MPs and two NC MPs, am I correct? Yes. Yeah, um, in, in Parliament. So their performance in Parliament, their performance in managing their town council, so these are all real issues that you can gauge the Workers' Party by. Okay. The yardstick for the other parties would also be uh, similar, but not in terms of actions, but more in terms of what they have said, mm -hmm. right? In media, on social media, on, on important issues, their manifestos, and very importantly, like what uh, Derek said, retail politics. If they were interested in a constituency, regardless of how the electoral boundaries have shifted, if those people are those are the people that they want to serve, they would be serving them anyway. They would be there on the ground, okay. walking the ground. Good. Thank you.